Good morning. This is going to be a little bit different of an audio than I've been doing lately just because um, it's been a very busy week, a lot of things have happened, and a lot of things are in motion. Ultimately, I didn't have time and energy to to get a full video out, but I did, however, receive this new microphone, which is what you are hearing me on right now. Um, I did not buy this for ASMR purposes, but it would be, this is a vocal microphone, and it is definitely an option to record things for the channel, whether or not, I don't think, again, I don't think I'll be using this as a primary microphone, especially because just the way that it is set up is a little less conducive to how I make ASMR content, but I think in general it could be good if I'm ever doing vocal work um, or something on the channel like a guided relaxation or, you know, anything of that nature where the voice is the primary concern. I think with a lot of with a lot of ASMR content, I'm I try to go for more of an experiential kind of thing rather than pure vocal quality and things like that. So obviously the 3DO is a little more appropriate for that sort of context. But there are things that are limited through the use of that, and honestly, my setup is still atrocious. Um, I really need just, and it's pointless for me to set this up right now because I'm right about to move. So <laughs> if I set up a, a dedicated environment here, I'll have to take it down and set something else up <laughs> once I arrive in a new destination here. Um, Speaking of which, I may as well talk about that a little bit. Just, this is primarily a microphone test video, so I have to talk about something. May as well talk about what's going on. In about a week, I will be moving um, out of state here. This is going to be a temporary move, um, and I'm going to move to a different state again for a little bit, just a brief window of time before... I am actually able to move out of the country. Um, we don't have a set date for that yet, but it is like we're in the planning stage, like the immediate planning. So we are <clears throat> we are looking into apartments and looking into plane tickets and those sorts of things. So we're in the process of selecting dates at the moment. Um, there are still a few things that need to get taken care of on her end, um, but otherwise everything is moving along, things are progressing, and we're very, very close to actually accomplishing these plans, which is very exciting. So I'm going to be making a move. I've been slowly siphoning more and more of my belongings um, I'm pleasantly surprised at <laughs> how little I actually own now. Um, and some of the things I'm going to have to leave behind for a time because some of these things are quite valuable and I do not want anything to happen to them while I am out of the country. Um, and ideally I won't be gone for very long. I'm still, I'm going to take certain things so I should still be able to make recordings and content, but I'm just not taking everything that I own and everything that I could be using. So there may be a difference in what I'm able to do. Um, however, the, the other side of this is that I will have uh, another person with me, and I think she she is open to joining me in making content, and I'm pretty sure just based on what I know of her that you guys will really, really enjoy her, and she will be a welcome addition to this channel, and I'm very excited to introduce you, to introduce her to you, and, and you to her, to a sense, in a sense. Um, so that will be a lot of fun, and 
I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, what else? Hmm. I'm very tired. I have not been sleeping well myself lately. That's not uncommon, but it's usually not as bad as it has been this past week. Um, but things will be okay. I will, I will find my sleep eventually, <laughs> and everything will be fine. So, I hope all is well with you and your world. And we will see about getting some more interesting stuff out next week. Um, I think it'll be an easier week on my on my part this upcoming week. So I will. I'll have more space to actually work on things and get something interesting created for you. <laughs> so far, the usage with this microphone has been quite nice. I like the quality of it. It's a well-built microphone, very sturdy. And I have a pop filter in front of me. I feel like a radio host, except <laughs> it's like a uh, homebrew radio. It's... <laughs> My setup is terrible. I don't even have a desk in this room. So I'm sitting on a stool, like in the middle of the room with a microphone in front of me. Um, my computer is sitting on a little dresser that is not really a good space for that. The audio interface is behind the computer. And I don't know, it's just, it's not a good setup. My piano's not here anymore, so I can't. I'm gonna miss out on that for a little bit, but that's okay. I'll have it back soon. Um, and then I'll leave it again, so maybe it doesn't matter. What else? I could try a few things. We can see um, how the microphone picks up certain things. The pop filter does actually filter out a lot of those plosives. Like, actually, I shouldn't show you an example because they're they're quite harsh without the filter. So, and they're a little like you can still perceive them even with the filter, but it's so much better. So I'm not gonna worry about that. But we could do um, like the we could do the hissing. I spoke with someone um, at my work about this recently because she knows a lot about vocal anatomy. And so I asked her, like, oh, I can make this sound, but it seems like from everyone that I've spoken with, no one else knows how to do this. I mean, it feels very easy and simple to me, but other people can't seem to figure out how to do it. And I asked her why that was. She told me that I probably just have a greater degree of muscular control over certain muscles, like fine muscles that control and move my tongue, and it is very similar to the mechanism of rolling your R's, but it's like more, I don't remember if she said I was pushing out more air, or like it's a, it's a different position of doing that same sort of uh, muscle movement. She explained to me that certain, like certain people just don't have that, they either don't have the level of control or they do actually don't have the musculature that's required to create some of those sounds, which is interesting. And she told me, mm, I can't remember which culture she said it was, if it was like Korean people, one of the, somewhere over there um, in that part of the world, she said that the people can't produce, <laughs> I can't even remember which sound it was, um, but they had to snip, there's that little cord that connects the bottom of your tongue to your mouth, and they have to have like a little surgery, like they, they cut part of that so their tongue has a greater range of motion, and that lets them produce a sound that is common in other languages. So. It's interesting to me, like, I, I kind of would like to learn more about vocal anatomy myself, just to, just because it's an interesting thing, and 
but I have, you know, there's so many things I'm doing right now. I realistically, I probably don't have the time or energy to uh, to do that. But I'll add it to my list for future endeavors, future pursuits. So we did that. Um, what else could we do? This microphone is kind of interesting because it has three different cardioid patterns and you can switch between them. Um, so if it's correct, we're just on the front one right now, just a normal, uh, oh, I'm sorry, polar patterns, not cardioid patterns. It's on the cardioid polar pattern, but there are two other ones. So let me see if I can switch that real quick. So now we are on dual cardioid. You may not notice much of a difference. Um, and I'm not sure, uh, I'm trying also a different program to record in. Uh, and I'm not sure how to record from this microphone into a stereo input on this program. Uh, so maybe with mono it's not going to sound as, as interesting. Uh, but I basically changed it from the single cardioid to the dual so I can go from here all the way and if I'm walking around the side you probably won't hear me as much until I get to the back and now you will hear this and then I will slowly move around to the side again where you probably can't hear me as well hopefully a little bit and then I'll come around to the front again and you should hear me clearly so that's dual cardioid um, if I had it on the same one that I had initially even when I was in the back, you would you would not really hear me very well. So it's getting both sides. And if I switch to this third one, I gotta edit out those crazy pops. That's very loud. Um, now you should hear me in 360 degrees. Although <laughs> I think it's in a mono input, so that's obviously not going to work very well. But I will go from here, and then I'm moving around to the side, and now I'm in the back, and I'll go back around, 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 to where I originally started. And there's actually, I'm over the top now, so there's actually over the top a portion of here. Yeah, I don't think there's any dimension to this sound, which is kind of interesting. Um, I need to buy an adapter to to convert quarter inch into 3.5 millimeters, eight inch, eighth. Uh, once I have that, I think I will be able to, I can just take this straight into my little recorder and supposedly that'll send a stereo signal. There's probably a way that I could do this on my computer, but I'm gonna have to experiment. In fact, maybe, maybe I'll do that right now. Okay, well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out how to get a stereo output out of this mic just yet. I'm going to I will continue to research this and to figure out how to accomplish what I'm trying to do. Um, but otherwise, it's not a huge concern at the moment just because, again, I probably won't be using this microphone for as much ASMR content as the other one. Um, for the time being, we will see as the situation evolves. I sure, I sure hope you can't hear some of these background sounds. <laughs> There is so much noise in this world, it is crazy. I'm going to keep researching these things and figuring out the equipment, but it's not a huge concern at the moment because I won't probably won't be using this microphone for ASMR most of the time. Um, and I already know how to work the 3DO just fine, so <laughs> it's actually pretty simple. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will return shortly. <laughs> Cheers.